All right, Mr. Boomer895 from the SXS clan. Let's go. Best out of three. Oh, you got me. Nice, man. Nice. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Don't celebrate too much. Come on. Best out of three. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, come on, Mr. Boomer. There we go. Yes. Tied it up. I got you. I got you. Come on. Come on, close it. Close it strong. Come on. And for the closer. Paper, scissors, shoot. All right. Oh, man. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Boomer. Oh, he's out. He's out. <laughs> Yo, GG's. Boomer, 895. Hey, man. Good game, man. All right. Here we go. Build time. Status effects is king. Numero uno, the big dog on campus, you know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, status effects has been top tier in the list of builds to have for years. There has actually been nothing changing to make status effects um, less lethal. And in fact, in the past year, We've had new brand sets and gear sets that make status effects more lethal. Um, it's pretty surprising that after all this time, status effects has never been changed. And well, I mean, it's a perfect time to just showcase how deadly status effects can be. So in this video, what I'll do is I'll show you what this build can do in PVE Heroic for Directive Solo. I know a lot of you prefer to play in a team, so I just show you, you know, some fun gameplay solo. And you can see that if I can do it solo, you can most definitely play this with a team or solo yourself. So we'll do heroic with some directives. That'll be some fun. But uh, a good bulk of this gameplay is going to be PvP in conflict. Now, I know a lot of you are rolling your eyes, but uh, hear me out. Now, conflict, everything is normalized. Now, what do I mean by normalized? Well, with uh, the latest updates, conflict now removes all expertise and shade levels. So you can still have, like, say, your hazard and, you know, some of your stats will still be the same, you know, pulse resistance, what have you. But, you know, that extra damage or that extra armor or that extra weapon damage that some of these veteran players have that some of these new and returning players don't have is out the window. So what is so cool about these builds now is that everybody can play with them. All you have to do is put the build combination together and you can get the exact same results. It's amazing. It's a lot of fun. I love going into conflict PvP and seeing all of these lower levels, all of these new and returning players come in there and just smash some of the veterans. It's hilarious. You'll see a level 12 be MVP of a conflict match against a whole bunch of level 100s. It's hilarious. Now, with that being said, I'm kind of getting carried away here. So let's just go ahead and jump into status effects and one of the best builds in the game i mean hands down let's talk about it here we go what's going on youtube kamikaze von doom here with another division 2 build video now shout out to the dod disciples of doom now in today's build video we're going to talk about status effects and a skill build that i think you should try right now in either pve or pvp now, I would probably say if you're trying to get those conflict, you know, levels in and get those weekly projects done and you want an easy build to do it, definitely skill build's the way to go. I mean, there's a stigma around skill builds and there always will be because they are, you know, quote unquote, the laziest of the builds, meaning you can just sit around and shoot skills and kill everything. And it, it's true. I mean, it, it is true. Now, anyone can use skill builds, but what's even better is if you're a good, you know, player, using a skill build can be lethal. And I'll show you some clips where I get even, you know, 15, 16 kills in one match. And mind you, it only goes up to 20. So if I'm getting 16 kills just by myself with a skill build, it's safe to say it's something worth trying out.
So let's go ahead and we'll jump into the build breakdown. I'll show you some PvE, some PvP gameplay at the end, and then we'll all get out of here. So I hope you enjoy, and let's go ahead and jump into the build breakdown. Now, status effects hasn't really changed at all for years. Um, what has changed is this new brand set, Electric. Electric? I, I call it Electric. I, I don't know. It's just funny when it comes off the tongue. Now, what makes this so much more lethal is that it comes with status effects as the number one brand set bonus. Now, Golan Gear also gives you status effects as a number one brand set bonus. So matching that up with three-piece Empress gives you that skill efficiency. Now, what a lot of people don't know is that skill efficiency will also give you status effects. So we're getting status effects out of everything in the build. Not only that, but it's pairing up with the Vile Mask. The Vile Mask is more lethal the more status effects you have on this build. So it says right here in this talent, Toxic Delivery. Status effects will also apply a damage over time debuff for 10 seconds. Now the total damage dealt is equal to 50% of your concussion grenade and increased by your status effect attributes, right? So 50% of my concussion, my concussion is sitting at 1.4 million damage. So half of that is 700,000. Now that is spread over 10 seconds, right? So that's 70,000 damage per second just from the vile mask. But mind you, that's before any of the status effects attributes are added to that. So if we go down the list, we have 10% from the mask. We get another 20% from the backpack. So now we're at 30. 40 from the gloves, 50 from the chest piece. Now, now we're at what? We're, we're at 60 and then 70 from the skill efficiency. What is that? 80 from Golden Gear, 90, right? So that's 60 all across the board, 70, 80, and then the skill efficiency, 90. So we're at 90% status effects with the Vile Mask. And all of that damage is amplified because of Glass Cannon. So Glass Cannon will amplify all the damage you deal by 25%. However, I will admit you are squishy. You are squishy, meaning you do not have a lot of armor, and all the damage you take is amplified by 50%. So they're, they're hitting you very hard. So survivability is low, all right? So you have to be nimble, nimble like a cat, all right? So as long as you're nimble and you know how to move and, you know, you can, you know, do a little chicken dance, you'll be able to survive. And I'll show you all of that in the gameplay. It's pretty funny. Now, the... <laughs> amount of damage you do because of the status effects and that vile mask alone will kill most enemies and players. However, that's not enough, right? So let's start off at the top. We're using the firewall specialization. Now the reason we are using the firewall specialization is that it gives us more burn duration. Now, on top of that, yes, you do get the flamethrower, so you can go all Ripley on, you know, MFers like you're in Aliens or something. Yeah, that's true. The flamethrower is a lot of fun. The med kit passive talent that you get that gives you health and armor back at the same time is a lot of fun as well. A lot of people like to abuse it. Whatever. The reason why I'm using this specialization is because of the burn duration it gives you and because of the flamethrower, because yes, the flamethrower is fun, but that burn duration is chef's kiss. Now, what do I mean by that? If I go to my burn sticky bomb right here, you can see the burn duration is 13 seconds. So they are burning for 13 seconds. I could even increase that to 14 seconds if I want to, but I, I want the skill haste mod on there because... If I choose the burn duration, then I have to wait a full 20 seconds. Eh, I like getting it back, you know, just under 20. But, uh, yeah, 
the burn duration's pretty damn sick because then they're hitting their med kits, they're still burning, they're hitting their med kits, they're still burning. And then next thing you know, you hit them again and they're dead instantly. Now, not only that, but the vial mask will take care of a lot of people as well. But that's why we're using the specialization. To be honest, you could use whatever specialization you want, but I do like that flamethrower and that increase to burn duration. Now, as far as the weapons... Um, I am choosing to use the test subject. Now, the reason I am choosing to use this one is because perfectly in sync can be activated just within like two bullets, to be honest. You shoot once to, you know, trigger the first part of it and you shoot them again to keep it up. I mean, it's pretty simple. Now, what do I mean by that? It says hitting an enemy with your weapon will give you skill damage. And then hitting them with a skill will give you weapon damage. But if you do both at the same time, you get double. So you can get 40% skill damage and 40% weapon damage at the same time just by shooting just a few bullets. Now, it's not like the capacitor. You don't have to build up stacks or anything. It's really just a few bullets. As long as you can sit and cover or run around, shoot them a few times, run around, shoot them a few times, you're going to keep that activated and it's a huge difference. I mean, your Sticky Bomb and your Stinger Hive are going to hit for some really high numbers. Now, another thing for this weapon, I, I do have damage to targets at a cover for that bottom attribute. Now, remember in Conflict, all of these numbers for expertise and everything go out the window. So none of that matters. All it does is in PvE... It'll increase my weapon damage, skill damage, and armor just by a little bit. It's, it can be a big difference, but it, you know, it's still a great build to use without it. Now, as far as my other weapons, you can use whatever you want. I only have the TDI card custom on here just because it has NSYNC on here. And if I am running heroic with uh, that directive that you can only use a pistol, this is the perfect pistol to use. Uh, while you're running that directive and then once you get ammo put back on the assault rifle you're good to go now my secondary i know it's the slayer it's just my placeholder um, main reason because i'm not using a secondary weapon i'm just using the test subject or the pistol if i'm running that directive in pve now looking at the build with the expertise upgrades we're sitting at 814k armor now, looking at the gear individually, we'll start with the Vial Mask, just because we pretty much already talked about it. Uh, now, as far as the attributes, it does come with status effects and hazard, but we do have a skill haste mod on here. Now, as far as that talent, remember, do a status effect. It will trigger a damage over time debuff, and because we have so much status effects on this build, it's going to be a really deadly debuff. Uh, as far as the next piece, Electrique Backpack. Now, the Electrique brand set bonus we get for this build, 10% status effects. Now, because it comes with a skill tier, it's very easy. Just farm this one for status effects and skill damage, and then roll Creeping Death for that talent. Now, why Creeping Death? Because with status effects, this becomes a very deadly talent. You can kill multiple enemies with one skill shot. So what do I mean by that? If you are running up on PvE or PvP, if you're running up on an enemy and you shoot them with your sticky bomb right off the rip, Creeping Death will go off. Creeping Death will kill multiple enemies at the same time to where then by the time you even throw out your hive to clean up the mess, Half of their team, if not their whole team, is dead. And that's why I'll get so many kills in PvP with this build. Because once I hit one of their teammates, they're all huddled up together. They all die. And then if there's like one of the people running a hazard build, I throw the hive out there. And then the hive just cleans up the hazard guy. It's pretty funny. Now as far as the attributes, status effects, skill damage, and skill haste for that mod. And then creeping death is amazing. Three pieces of Empress International. First, we have the gloves, skill damage, status effects on everything. Now, because it is Empress International, we get skill health, skill damage, and skill efficiency for those brand set bonuses. For the knee pads, again, skill damage, status effects. 
And then for that chess piece, again, skill damage status effects with a skill haste mod, and then that glass cannon. Now, you can use kinetic momentum if you don't, you know, <laughs> want to go down. Uh, it's understandable. But the damage difference, I, I, I don't know. I prefer glass cannon. It's just me personally. Now, uh, if you want, like I said, kinetic momentum's a good replacement. And then finally, golden gear. Status effects for that brand set bonus. I rolled on here skill tier, so you have to get status effects and skill damage for those bottom attributes. This is actually going to be the hardest item to grind for, just because you have to get the certain attributes on the bottom, so you can re-roll that core attribute. All right. And that's it. 90% status effects, kill everything. It's really fun. Um, I use this a lot um, whenever there are those league events or any sort of objective where I have to burn enemies or do some sort of status effect. This is a perfect build to use um, outside of, of course, Eclipse Protocol. But all right, let's finish up with the stats and get you out of here. This is the test subject. 86.4k for weapon damage, 34.5k for PvP. 10 crit chance, 45 crit damage, 75 headshot with that damage targets at a cover and health damage. Pretty typical for a skill build. Uh, offensive tab, 22%. All weapons at damage bonus and 30% assault rifle damage bonus. So we're sitting at 52% damage bonus total. In gear talents, we do have creeping death with a glass cannon and that toxic delivery from the vile mask. And defensive tab, over 814k armor, 343k health, and... We do have that 10% explosive resistance. We do have 20% hazard, but that's because we get 10 from the Vile Mask. Now, the other part is due to my watch level, so here's my disclaimer. But this is only if you're not going to use this in conflict PvP. If you're going to use this in conflict, the whole watch level thing goes out the window. It doesn't matter. But if you're using this in PvE or the Dark Zone or anything like that, um, a lot of it is due to my watch level. I am sitting at watch level 7,003. That means all these boxes are maxed out 50 of 50. Now, if you are at or above shade level 1,000, you'll get the exact same numbers and results as me. No problem. Now, if you are below shade level 1,000, some of these boxes are not going to be maxed out. Then some of your numbers are not going to add up. It's okay. It's still a great build to use, trust me. It'll put a smile on your face once you get that creeping death to proc and everyone dies at the same time. It's amazing, trust me. But it'll get even better once you reach that shade level 1000. But all right, everyone, that is it. Status effects is king build. This is a skill build for both PvE or PvP, whatever floats your boat, doesn't matter. I'll show you gameplay of both, so I hope you enjoy. And while you're at it, make sure you hit that like. Subscribe for more Division content. Again, I'm Kamikaze Von Doom. I hope you have a great day. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, and like they say, roll that footage. ha -bya! Yep. Now, I'll, I'll watch back here. I got you. I'll throw down the hive as soon as I... Oh, got one. Far right. Oh, no. My God. Agent incapacitated. I got it. Yeah, I got you. Oop, one down far right. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. I just Serious killed. Oh, my. Agent oh, gotta love it. All right. Yeesh. We have the boost. Oop, I got him. GG's. 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 Hey, man, I appreciate that, bro. Yo, how many kills did I just get, though? Hey. MVP, let's go. 36 hundo. Dang. Let's look at these kills. Look at these kills. Come on. Yo, 1.8 million XP. Yo, I just went 15 and 5 with a skill build. 34.2 million damage.
Now, I know there's a guy up here to the left of our spawn. So let me... Oh, he's coming down the ramp right here. Yep. Oh, my gosh. He's rushing. Dude, you rushed the wrong guy, bro. Look at that. Nah, you're not healing up, dude. <laughs> healing up. You're on fire, my guy. All right, going for the boost. Hostile. Explosive seeker mine. Detected. Uh, there's one, one coming to the boost. Oh, I missed that sticky. How did I miss that? Oh, he's coming. Give him a second. It's not going to get far. There we go. Rogue striker drone detected. Nice. Oh. Yeah, I just wasted that sticky, but whatever. I see it up there. We're coming. <laughs> Tier 1 striker drone just hitting this guy. No one's retreating. The fight continues. Yeah, coming up. Halfway to the finish. I don't see him. Pulse. Oh, someone behind me. Who's behind me? Oh, I see him. Oh, come on. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Dude. Just keep rushing the skill build guy. <laughs> and for some PvE gameplay, we'll do heroic with uh, four directives. Have some fun here. And start mission. Boom. All right, so we're gonna do heroic four directives. That way we get the 100% extra XP. True Sense had this area locked down. And we are running the status effects the build. So this is gonna be pretty fun. Now, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing and let me know uh, what kind of build you wanna see next. I have a long list of builds that I am bringing you this coming week, so I hope you enjoy. This is just the start to mini to come and here we go i'll just let the uh, hive do the work there we go oh i missed the sticky Over here. There you go. Hostile radio intercepted. Secure the vault. We can't afford to lose that ordinance. Copy that. Smart. Sounds like they repurposed the bank's vault to secure their weapons. So that's where you need to go. Now, this is where creeping death really comes into play. So, right here, I'll get all of them, or I'll at least get these guys. That's a creeping death. And then I'll throw the hive over here. And then do this. And then while that hive is hitting them, I will hit all these. Should have bullets by now. There we go. Get that perfectly in sync in there. Oh, yeah. GG's. Is it just me, or is it a lot easier to get shade levels now with the new projects? I mean, I'm already over shade level 7,000, and I started this season around like 6,500. It, it just seems a lot easier. Shooting me from across needed. the way. I see you. Oh, ouch. Curious trauma detected. What? Agent killed. Wow. 
At least it brought me back right here. I don't know what I died from, though. Hmm. There's status effects bullets? The boss got me with something there. Yo, if you saw that, put in chat and put in the comments, I saw that. Usually whenever I mess up or act a fool, I like to keep it our own little uh, inside secret. So if you saw that, just say, I saw that. You can have a little smiley face. I get it. We all mess up. I think maybe I was too close to the spawn. And I got hit with the uh, special bullets. I don't know. But those special bullets definitely messed me up. Oh, missed it. I'll get him with the lead. Nice. Detecting. This one. Computer breakdown. Might just come out of what the shooters have been doing here. And then what I'll do is I'll show you some PvP gameplay. Is this thing? It's really my go-to for uh, for good old conflict. Hitting me like that. That's what I want to know. There we go. Boom. GG's. Alright. I mean, we still beat the entire mission in five minutes, but. I went down. I'm wondering what kind of bullets they had. of our defenses at the White House. The True Sons identified several vulnerable areas in our perimeter. We can use this info to shore up our defenses. Good work, Agent. Good work, Agent. But I'm trying to figure out uh, True Suns, and we have special ammo on, so... Because I was in cover. Still trying to figure that out. I don't know. <laughs> that intel you picked up was an analysis we'll of see. our defenses at the White House. The True Suns identified several vulnerable areas in Look our Look at that. Order. That was an easy watch level. We can level. use this info to shore up our defenses. Good work, Agent. Ooh, yeah. Oh, look at that. I'm just about to have the, uh, the other project done. Yo, it is so easy to get XP nowadays. What was that project? Right here, weekly project. Yo, that one's huge. Uh, what does it say? Neutralize named outcasts. I only need to do one more. Psh, I'll knock that out. All right, so I'm gonna go knock that out, but I'm gonna leave you with some uh, PVP gameplay. I have a few games where I just go ham. I mean, I drop, what, like 16 kills in one game, but all of them I'm MVP, just go completely off the rails. It's amazing. And that's what this build is really, uh, you know, where it shines is in PVP, because whether we like it or not, status effects is king. Now, the trick with the status effects in PvP is uh, triggering the creeping death. That way you can kill multiple agents at once and then finish them up with that stinger hive. But the coolest thing about this is anyone can use the build because in conflict, it normalizes everything. All the expertise, all the watch levels, those all are removed. So I'm going to show you in conflict what you can do just by putting this build together. You don't need to do any expertise or anything like that. Just put this build combination together and make sure that you try to max out your attributes. That's all you have to do. Because uh, once you're in conflict PvP, everyone is on a even playing field. But all right, everyone. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. I hope you enjoyed the quick little PvE. And I hope you enjoy the longer PvP portion of the gameplay. But like always, hit the like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. And roll that PvP footage. ha -bya! before your reinforcements are spent.
Agent down. An agent needs assistance. Explosive seeker mine detected. Hostile explosive seeker mine detected. Stinger Hive detected. Hostile Stinger Hive detected. Agent down. An agent needs assistance. Boost about to come online. Hostile hive detected. Boost now active. Agent down. Rogue striker drone detected. Hostile striker drone detected. The boost is being taken by the enemy. About to expire. The enemy is acquiring the boost. The boost has expired. An agent needs assistance. Explosive seeker mine detected. Hostile explosive seeker mine detected. Agent down. Rogue stinger hive detected. Hostile stinger hive detected. Serious trauma detected. Agent out of action. Agent killed. A specialization supply drop has been arranged for you. Friendly claiming the supply drop. The specialization supply drop has been claimed by an ally. An agent needs assistance.
signs. Zero. You're ha halfway through the fight. Agent down. Rogue Stinger Hive detected. Hostile Stinger Hive detected. There are no more rogue reinforcements. Eliminate whoever's left. Rogue Striker Drone detected. Hostile Striker Drone detected. Wipe out the enemy before you run out of reinforcements. Rogue Defender Drone detected. Hostile Defender Drone. Detected. Rogue Explosive Seeker Mine. Detected. Hostile Explosive Seeker Mine. Detected. Rogue Stinger Hive. Detected. Hostile Stinger Hive. Detected. Agent down. Rogue Hive. Detected. Hostile Hive. Detected. Sign. It's critical.
Detected. Hostile hive detected. Agent down. Retreating, the fight continues. The rogues have run out of reinforcements. You can win this. I've sent a specialization supply drop your way. needed. Agent down. Agent. You won. Well done. Rogue, explosive seeker mine detected. Hostile, explosive seeker mine detected. Rogue defender drone detected. Hostile defender drone detected.
Rogue Hive detected. Hostile Hive detected. Agent down. Now active. The boost is being taken by allies. The boost has been taken by allies. Seeker mine detected. Hostile seeker mine detected. Rogue explosive seeker mine detected. Hostile explosive seeker mine detected. An agent needs assistance. Defender drone detected. Hostile defender drone detected. The enemy is about to be pulled out. You're too strong for them. Detected. Hostile hive detected. I'm sending you a specialization supply drop. Explosive seeker mine detected. Hostile explosive seeker mine detected. Supply drop being claimed by friendly. The specialization supply drop has been claimed by an ally. Rogue seeker mine detected. Hostile seeker mine detected. Victory. They won't be coming back now. <laughs>